Crash served as a sobering reminder of how reliant we are on internet for our daily lives. It also caused us to ask the question, how secure are power companies when events like this happen? That's right, Joe Dana covers energy in Arizona. And Joe, uh, what can you tell us about the state's power, uh, major power companies? No, both APS and SRP tell me this afternoon their services were not impacted by this systems crash. And nationally, utilities proved that if they do use CrowdStrike for any reason, the problem did not hamper their services. That's the good news. However, the chance of a cyber attack remains a top concern for power companies, especially during these summer months when so many of us rely on AC to survive. Both APS and SRP are be appeared before state regulators in April to assure them that they have redundancies in place and backup power resources in the event of a cyber disruption. In fact, APS tells commissioners they put the company through practice cyber attacks to test the utility's resiliency. An association that works with utilities across the West, known as the Western Electricity Coordinating Council, also said in April, last year there were two attempted cyber attacks on the power grid in the West. Both failed. The bigger problem, physical attacks. 107 reported last year. So far this year, 64. Nearly all of those are either break-ins at substations involving theft of materials or people shooting equipment. The director of the council said physical attacks are, quote, a growing concern. How do homeowners prepare for a power grid failure? The same you would for any emergency. Have water storage, a generator, first aid supplies, and enough food for at least a week. And remember, if the grid were to go down, so would ATMs. If you are able to have some cash on hand, it is recommended. Back to you guys. All right, Joe, thanks.